Greetings programs, Per Pianissimo here, and welcome back to the Vintage Story Tutorial Series. Alright, we need to get moving because there is a lot to do today. We are about to set out on an adventure. And what we're going to do is explore some other ruins like this one where we can knock some of the blocks out. And here's some chicks. Chicks and sticks. There's the chicks. <laughs> there they go. Oh, look. There's a very nice size ruin. There is a vessel <laughs> suspended from the ceiling right there. Let's see if we can pop our way in here. Wow. I'm actually not sure I've seen one quite like this. This is like a second floor. Okay, this is a food cracked vessel. Oh, that's nice. Look at all of the grains. We could actually cook a... Oops. We could actually cook a porridge with some berries with this. Okay, let's see if we can get down to the lower floor. Now, digging around the ruins is a good idea, too. Every once in a while, these guys have a basement. And there's all sorts of nice treasures down in the basement. And that's rock, so, well, doesn't look like we've got another floor down here. Oh, we do have some bony soil, though. We're going to grab that because that will become useful very soon. Okay. When we have a pick, we'll come back and dig all of this cobblestone out uh, and perhaps find another vessel or some other goodies here. Let's see if we can find another ruin. Some really pretty terrain, some of this area. Headed for some spots in the distance. On the map, it looks like they could possibly be a ruin. Ooh. Look at that foggy, deep hole. You know, I haven't seen any proper caves yet, I don't think. There are all these really big holes. Looks like we will definitely need a lot of sticks to build a bunch of ladders. Oh, look at that. Another rock type. We've got slate. I like how the limestone and the slate look together. And there is that other decent sized ruin. It looks like another of those little two story jobbies. There's a piece of flint waiting for us, too. Let's see. Do these stairs go down anymore? There's some bony soil. Aha! Looky there! A farming vessel. This could be good, too. I've never seen these in a vessel before, but uh, because you really can't use more than the four that you make, but what you can do is you can take your knife and you can actually dismantle these into more cattails. Very useful to know once these have outlived their usefulness, you can dismantle them. Ooh, there went that knife. I had replaced the knife in the inventory slot. That's very neat. Okay. I think I want to make sure there's no basement in this one as well. That wall goes pretty far down. Alright. Doesn't look like there's a basement in here either. But we got another vessel. So that's always good. Oop. Let me out. There's some more terra preta. We're going to be set up for farming here pretty quickly. 
Okay, I disabled my texture pack so you can see what it actually looks like. It is this very, very dark brown, composty looking soil. And just like real life, this stuff is black gold. It is very hard to find in the world. So you grab it when you can. All sorts of different looking trees. Bald cypress. Boy, that's really pretty. Okay. Oh, this is a series of ruins. Um, well, at least, at least a few. Now, the good news about these types is you're almost guaranteed when there's a group of ruins around that there's going to be a basement in one of them. So let's see what we can see. Nothing in that one. There's another vessel. Cracked fish vessel. Oh, I'm sorry, that one's forage. I'm a little concerned that I don't have enough room to pick the stuff up, depending on what's there. Um, I don't know. I want to dig down first. Let's see if we can find a basement in one of these places. Maybe there's a vessel or a chest or something that we can borrow temporarily. Oh, is that another one? There's an ore vessel. And then this one was the forage vessel. I think that's what I ended up getting the coal out of was a... Oh, look, see, there's a basement. Oh! And a farming. Okay, let's build some stairs down here and see if there's a place to put some of this stuff. If not, we're going to go empty the inventory and come back. A wooden chair. A lighting glitch. And a farming cracked vessel. Okay, um, that's actually pretty nice. Um, again, <laughs> no room and a very tiny basement, but a lot of vessels. In fact, let's mark this on the map and look at this. So this is a ruins type that I don't think I've seen before. I wonder if all the ruins got a bit of a revamp. Um, yeah, that was the last shovel, wasn't it? But not really the last because I've got pretty much unlimited shovels right here. Okay, I don't see any vessels right there. What do we got inside here? Anything? Uh-huh. just had a feeling that that marked something. A, oh, this is a regular storage vessel. That's pretty neat. Oh, wow. Okay, I've got enough dirt to dig my way out. So let's check this place out. It's a little bit deep, isn't it? Okay, we have an aged wooden bed. This is the best one in the game, so far as I know of. This lets you sleep for up to nine and a half hours. That's really nice. Yes, the smaller beds don't let you sleep as much. We need a little tiny room. A lone planter, that's nice. Another cracked vessel, and then an ore vessel, and a regular storage vessel. Well, all about that. It's definitely a good idea to clear all of this out when you have a pick. Make sure that there's nothing hiding anywhere. You got anything under the bed? Nope. Okay. Well, we've got a planter. Let's see about putting some stuff in here for now. We're going to eat these. All of the weird stuff we got like this. Let's see what else is down here. What we need is a bunch of copper, but <laughs> really? <laughs> a bunch of reeds 
and some granite stone. Okay, well, I know that those will stack. What's in our forage vessel? Oh, lots of linen and some bandages. All right, let's go ahead and grab the bed. And it is getting dark. I'm beating the cobblestone with the bed. We're going to bust this one too. Is that a lot more coal? It is. Useful later? Not so useful right now. There's one here. I hope that's copper. It looks like it might be. Yep, only two nuggets. <laughs> what a jip. That is very interesting looking. We need to make our way back home, but we will definitely be back to gather the rest of the goodies there. Okay, since I've got plenty of food with me, I'm going to spend the dark hours gathering more of the granite cobble because I plan on making a bit of a shelter with it. Oh, and there's peat here too. There are quite a few treasures to take home here. We may need to take a couple of trips. All right, let's get a stack of peat and then I'm going to just grab more cobble. Definitely glad I brought that stew with me. Didn't do much, did it? <laughs> oh, that's right. I had like 0.3 servings left in it. This is nice because you can fill a whole stack. And see, there's a couple extra, but instead of letting them decay on the ground, take your bricks and then you shift click them right there. So when you come back for some more, you've got these little extras waiting to be picked up. Looks like there might be a little more to the west. Let's check that out. There is a little more to the west. Well, we might as well start over here. This is a complaint I have. Uh, this sound just... I'm not really fond of this sound. It kind of hurts my ears. And anytime that you are breaking cobble with your hands or chiseled blocks, they sound like this and um, ouch. Oh, and look, I have uncovered, looks like it was underneath all of this grass. I have uncovered another ore vessel. Do I have room? Mm, probably. That looks like not copper. <laughs> Four gold nuggets, not very useful at all early game and it takes a lot more than four nuggets to make anything oh look this is a definite bonus area like I said it is nice to dig out some of these especially the ones that have like multiple ruins in an area. We have a forage. I don't have much room left. Let's see. That looks like a bunch of grass. Quite a bit of grass and some andesite stones. Okay. Let's put our pot. Our crock down and grab a serving of food. Grab another one in our bowl and then pick the pot up. Then it still has two servings in it. Okay, not a lot of grass, but some. Um, I can always put this down too if I need to. Let's see what's in this other vessel. 
I'm gonna go home with lots of treasures today. Well, I could probably make a basket <laughs> with all of the reeds that I've gotten. So that's two very tiny basements, but still. I mean, nothing spectacular in them, but finding a bed, especially the aged bed that you can sleep extra time in, that's not terrible. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh, we've got a baby bun trapped down there. You know, when I opened this up, I didn't even notice that there were two or three rusty gears in here. <laughs> That's the currency in the game that the traders use. Huh. Very interesting. Oh, and more flax. Those will stack. That must have come out of the forage. When it gets to be daylight, we're going to take our cobble and then head back and then I'll run back and then grab this and some more peat and stuff. All right, that rift sounds like it's close by. Yep, there it is right there. And there goes my gear. Okay, okay, yeah, let's get out of there. Ooh! Yes, the uh, more your gear tips down, the more insane you go and your world starts jumping around. And if you've got mobs spawning at that point, then yes, the mobs will start spawning. Oh, did we leave another vessel down there that I forgot about? Yes, we did. Farming. Okay. What have you got for me? We have flax, feathers, flax, and feathers. Well, eh, okay. Let's take our chair, too. Okay. I don't think I can carry any more. And it's 3 a.m. I guess it's time to head home. This was quite a find. Okay, that's only one deep. Our torch will be okay. Except we are at an impasse again. There we are. I'm free! I'm not. Yep, yeah, this is why it's not very fun to travel at night because you can't see obstacles too far ahead, like big cliffs. I don't remember anything like this. Hopefully, we can get it around. Get around it. Okay. Hopefully, I have plenty of dirt. We're not going to be able to come back this way, but it should be easier to see when it's daylight. Here's hoping that this doesn't drop us. Oh, not that. I'm disappointed I'm not finding more ore nodes on the ground. So it's going to take quite a bit of hunting around to find some nodes to get us into the Copper Age. But it is possible. And probable. <laughs> but that's overall not too terribly difficult. Just keep looking. Oh, no, actually, that's Flint. Hey, give me that. Okay. That was an adventurous night. What have I got on me that I can put in here? Absolutely nothing. There we go. We have a big stack of peat. Quite an adventure. Some ruins along with a group of ruins that had a bunch of basements in it. 
with you know, a few very useful items. That's really exciting. We've got a few supplies to do some building with and we'll head right back there to pick the rest of the goodies up that we left there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really looking forward to next time. But in the meantime, play hard, die often, and leave a good looking corpse. And in the meantime, play hard, die hard. Play hard, die hard. <laughs> <laughs>